last video, we defined an adaptation as a change or the process of change by which an organism or species becomes better suited to its environment. This time, we're going to talk about some fun features that animals have adapted. Hi everyone, my name's Stacy with Six Flags Great Adventure and Safari, and today we are going to be introducing you to a type of adaptation known as a structural adaptation. Structural adaptations refer to a feature of an organism's body that helps it to survive and reproduce. This is one of the easiest to think about because we're talking about what an animal looks like. The first type of structural adaptation we're going to be talking about is camouflage. Camouflage is a type of adaptation that allows organisms to conceal themselves. There are many types of camouflage, four of which we're going to talk about today. Concealing coloration, disruptive coloration, mimicry, and countershading. Concealing coloration, like you see here with this green frog, gives the animal the ability to blend in with their surroundings to help evade predators. Some animals, such as chameleons, are even able to change their skin color to blend in with their changing environments. Disruptive coloration is when contrasting markings are used to break up an animal's appearance. The contrasting stripes of a zebra can make it difficult for predators to single out an animal to eat. They can't tell when an animal ends and the next begins. Not only can this type of camouflage be seen in prey, it can also be used by a predator species as well. The stripes on tigers helps them to blend into their forest surroundings. This makes them very efficient hunters, excellent at ambushing or surprising their prey. Some animals may even camouflage by mimicking or replicating features of other animals or surroundings. Coral snakes, as you see here, are native to areas of the United States and are one of the most venomous snakes in North America. Now, take a look at my friend Milkshake. He is not a coral snake, but a milk snake. Milkshake is not venomous at all, but he mimics the coloration of the coral snake which helps him avoid predators who have learned to stay away from his venomous look-alike. Countershading is the last type of camouflage we'll be discussing. This is when an organism is light in coloration on one side and darker on the other, which you can see in Bowie the barn owl. His light feathers help him to blend with the lightness of the sky and the darker feathers help him blend with the darkness of the ground. This makes him well adapted to hide from predators such as hawks and eagles, and also camouflage well while hunting. You can see camouflage is very common in the animal kingdom. However, there are other types of structural adaptations that animals have adapted. Sexual dimorphism is fairly common. This is when you can see a difference between males and females of the same species. In African lions, Males grow long manes, while females do not. In Indian antelope called black buck, males grow long spiraling horns and are much darker in coloration than their female counterparts. Some of these differences can help to attract mates in order to help pass on their genes to their offspring. Next, we're gonna take a close look at some animal skeletons. Looking at the structural differences of teeth is an easy way to tell whether an animal is an herbivore, carnivore, or omnivore. Herbivores, or plant eaters, seen here with this rhinoceros skull, have all flat teeth to help them chew and grind plants. Carnivores, or meat eaters like lions, have all sharp teeth to grab and chew meat. Omnivores like bears are both meat and plant eaters. They have sharp teeth for tearing meat and flat molars for chewing plants. When we get a cut or a scrape, it usually doesn't take too long for it to heal. 
But how helpful would it be if we could regenerate full appendages? Some reptiles, like Godzilla, our green iguana, can actually regrow their tails. This structural adaptation can help them escape predators such as hawks and snakes. If Godzilla felt threatened, he could release part of his tail, distracting the potential predator and allowing him to get away safely. Another awesome adaptation of some reptiles are forked tongues. They use their tongue to taste or smell around their environments. Unlike our tongues, which are round at the end, all snakes and some lizards have developed a small slit at the end of their tongue. This special adaptation helps them to hunt and avoid predators because it allows them to tell which direction certain smells are coming from. There are a countless number of structural adaptations that you can find all over the animal kingdom. Next video, we're gonna talk about two more types of adaptations and dig a little deeper into the importance of adaptations. Thanks for watching and have a wild day.